Hey, want to see about two months worth of work condensed into a few minutes? Sure you do. For those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Claire and I'm a mixed media artist. I share my studio with two to three dogs. This is actually a spread in my sketchbook. I was practicing portraits for an event I'll be painting at later this year. And this piece is called Ink Spots, although it's actually watercolor spots. But anyway, it's one of my most popular paintings this month. It's a bunch of watercolor blobs and some pug heads drawn over it, and it just really seemed to resonate with people. Next up is Floral, which I should really come up with a snappier name for. I bought this whole seed catalog, and it's inspiring a lot of pieces this month. This one is one of my favorites from the month, and it's called The Strawberry Table. I really like painting strawberries, as you can see here. Here's another floral pug. This is actually one of the first ones I painted with the inspiration from that seed catalog. This one is called Five More Minutes. I thought it would be fun to paint a pug peeking out from under a blanket, just wanting a few more minutes of sleep. Inspired by real events. Up next is Lotus. I was really into the floral paintings this month. This one is not directly inspired by the seed catalog. It's just once you get started painting flowers, it's hard to stop. This one's called Earning My Wings. I have mixed feelings about this piece. I feel like it could easily be misconstrued. I just wanted to paint a pug with little strapped on wings who was inspired to keep flying. Donut Stack. This is my favorite painting that I've done all month. I love painting drippy frosting and this was an opportunity to do that. This one's called Under the Table. I am always trying to paint looser, and this is an example of that. This painting is part of a mini-series I've made called All in a Swirl. Altogether, there are four pieces. I like how the four of them look together. They're square paintings, and they're making an even larger square. Each one has special little accents that can't be accurately captured by a scanner. Little flashes of neon and glitter paints. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I make it really hard to make prints lately. There's just something about the neon colors and the glitter that's just really, really inspiring me right now. I just feel the need to make these impossible to scan, but fun to look at in person paintings. Up next is this little lady in a dress. Fun fact, I actually have these shoes. I bought them online and they do not fit, so I paint them from time to time to get some value out of them. One more floral pug in cobalt this time. I don't usually use this color, but it was refreshing and I think I'll probably incorporate it into my work more in the future. I'm working a lot in fours this month. Here are two experimental pieces. Four pugs a piece. This one was done in acrylics, and this one was done in watercolor. Again, with the looser, looser paintings. Always trying to get looser. This is another favorite of mine. I created it for my Patreon. I love creating these paintings with lots of 3D elements. Assemblage, sort of. 
I'm hesitant to use that word because I heard someone in the art world pronounce it assemblage, and that can't be right. Can it? Now, a whole bunch of studies and warm-ups. I just picked my favorites to show you. Most of them are terrible, but that's okay. Some of them shimmer. I used acrylic ink to give them a boost. Here's another one of those shimmering paintings. They're so fun to paint. Again with the neons. These four are actually studies for larger paintings. These are the larger paintings that I'm working on. They're 8 by 8 inches, and I'm not quite sure what to do with them next. So, maybe you'll see them in next month's roundup all finished. Let's hope. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up to boost my lagging self-esteem. And subscribe while you're at it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, you can head over to my shop and adopt a painting or two. Link in the doobly-doo. Bye for now!